Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play House MD. When we left off, House had just finished a, with the clinic patient that had been chewing on lead for five years. And probably severely damaged many internal organs because of it. So anyway, now we are going to analyze the special white and pink salt we found at the restaurant. Because if I'm not mistaken, pink salt has copper in it. Very mild amounts of copper. And we get to do this again. Almost there. And now we gotta heat the sample again. more to go. Easy enough. No penalties. Yep, sodium chloride, pink salt particles are something other than table salt. Holds in his hands the secret identity of the pink salt. Sodium nitrate. Well, I thought it was copper, but no, it is not. Oh, well. Been a long time since I did copper. Copper's... Yeah, I thought salt... Copper sulfide or copper, you know... Some type of copper salt might be pink. I know it's mostly green. Yes, I do know that. But I'm thinking it has a, the ability to be pink, but apparently not. Oh, well. Used to cure meat, and it can cause the problem. Poisonous, but it's easily burn away during cooking. But if someone didn't cook it, could just sprinkle it over the food like regular table salt, eaten directly in large amounts. And there it could be a rabbi, but they don't cheat on their wives, do they? Nobody could have put it in food. It's pink. She would have seen it. Ah, could have been undyed sodium nitrate. Ah, <sighs> there we go. Let's go talk to Russell again. Doesn't seem too concerned about sodium nitrate. She accidentally ate it. Maybe. What about lunches? You know those lunches she makes you prepare. Couldn't have been you. Why not? Why not? Well, okay, that's a good cue, but... You don't have any that's been bleached.
player had access to it. Okay. Supervises all dessert preparation. Wash your hands how often? Okay, management. What's it like replacing it? He likes running the restaurant with her gone, huh? Hmm. Wish it wasn't temporary. Ah. Uh huh, yeah, all he wants for her to be happy. Hmm. Huh. Why don't I trust him? Probably because it's pretty obvious that he had a hand in poisoning her. Hey, there's a clue under here somewhere, huh? So, let's start moving everything we can. All the way. We found... A clue. A receipt. A bag of undyed sodium nitrate. We just happened to find the receipt waiting for us. Hmm. And Cuddy wants to know where her guitar is, I would imagine. A guitar case? Uh-oh, she knows! Oh wait, House probably doesn't care. Search office away. He's even going to help her search the office. Maybe he didn't take the guitar. Maybe it's just misplaced in her house. Not likely, but you know. Don't know what your game is. Yahtzee. Don't know where you put the guitar. She's going to find it. So, where do you think Claire stashed the sodium nitrate? Someone like Claire is too meticulous to just leave it lying around. We gotta look for dye, receipts, paperwork, anything that connects her to the poisoning. Time to look around. Seven things. Okay, there was anything on that screen that I could find. Wow, so far nothing. There's some potato chips. Okay, nothing, nothing. Meat, more meat, more salt. Contract. Compare the two signatures and click on differences found. Now let's see, we need eight. So there's a difference there. The R doesn't quite match up. There's a problem there. That doesn't match up. That doesn't match up. Neither does that. They're supposed to connect there. And the E has a slightly different downturn. Which gives us a for which gives us forgery. Receipt didn't belong to Claire. Signature is completely different than the signature on this letter in this contract. What a shock. Yeah, 
Well, we kind of guess who that one is by now. Yep. Yep. Time to go talk to Russell again. And he's trying to deflect. So let's see if we can figure out And now we caught him red-handed, or at least red wooden spooned. Handwriting match. Ford's receipt to frame her for buying sodium nitrate. And you don't just go around accusing people like that. Something tells me he just opened up the sodium nitrate. There it is, right there. What a shock, huh? Bought sodium nitrate. Works for a horrible boss. Yeah, you know. Nah, yeah, wouldn't be a better boss. We're not cops. We understand they have a very easy to dial phone number. Yeah, Russell, you are screwed. Very, very screwed. And yes, it is the result of sodium nitrate poisoning. There we go, folks. Mystery solved. Yep. Yep, every day he poisoned french fries she ate at the restaurant. An alcoholic doesn't have enough salt in her blood, so she adds it to her food like crazy. So she, can tr so she got a truckload of the stuff. Which was the white powder. Yep. Hmm. So now we get a full report on what happened to her. Has her bun been red to the nice Milky Way brown color? And then she turned blue. And since she had Wilson's disease with that deficiency, I still don't know what it is. Didn't work. Put her on plasma exchange and start her on, start her on penicillamine to help with the excess copper in her system. Start improving and enjoying the land of the non-blue. After a few days, huzzah, problem solved. And now... It's time to have a little romantic interlude with Cameron and Chase. Uh, with blue food. And a very strange look in her face. It's poisoned! Uh! Yep, one swank meal at the restaurant. And yeah, he's gonna bring up the salt, of course. And she now thinks she's a horrible person because she drove her sous chef, or whatever he was at the point in time, into trying to poison her. That would be a pretty good observation. If people are trying to poison you, you might not be a good person. Yeah. You can be brusque. But, yeah... Russell would didn't handle it correctly, but you know, that's a pretty big clue. You are not the best person in the world to work for. Wonder how he likes the stuff they serve in prison. But, you know, treating employees like human beings probably a good first step.
There we go. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be how it works, but baby steps, Lana, baby steps. And easily enough, Blue Meanie is now complete. And no, we do not wish to start the next case now. I wish to leave you all with Creepy Cuddy staring at you. Stare into her eyes. And, and surrender your soul. But I will see everyone back next time for Case 3. Skull and Bones. Loses, a macho college kid loses feeling in his arms during fraternity hazing. <sighs> okay. Well, anyway. Take care, folks. See you back for more Creepy House Cast the Game. Bye.